Hello everyone. As promised, we're back here with a new game. Well, new to the channel. This is Rise of Industry. And, well, we're starting a game here. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's absolutely uh, shocking given that it's a, well, um, I suppose, new game to the channel, right? Um, well, let's, um, let's uh, just put a seed in here. Let's try that for a, a seed. Um, right. So, uh, we're going to have U.S. Uh, town names. Uh, and that is, uh, probably good because it means I'll probably have a better chance of pronouncing them. Uh, number of AI opponents. Normal. Many. None. Few. Normal. Well, I think normal gives us two on a medium map, and that's probably fine. Uh, I don't think that really matters. Map size, medium. Uh, yeah, we'll go with medium. Uh, we're going to drive on the right, and we're going to not have the assistant because that's just annoying. Okay, terrain settings. Uh, we'll have normal... We'll have two coasts, we'll have normal, medium, smoothing, whatever, lakes, terrain, whatever. Yep, okay, good. Difficulty settings. Okay, so this is basically normal. I'm going to go with, uh, no, we're not going startup, we're not going veteran, we're going normal. But I'm going to turn off simplified production chains. Uh... Now that's because that because then uh, stuff isn't just rounded to fifteen days, so it makes it a little bit, a little bit more challenging to balance production out, right? So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to leave everything else at normal, okay? Uh, and you know, default, you know, and we'll have infinite resources, right? Okay, um, right. So let's play the game. Now, we're going to, you know, generate the map. I kind of like that warming up. Uh, right. So, we have... We have a map just about to pop up in our face. Yes. Okay. Now, we need to place our headquarters. Now, uh, this is a somewhat important... Uh, uh, process. Now, the reason it's important is because your headquarters claims a region, and what you, you know, it can be beneficial to claim a high value region, right? Uh, which has good resources. I'm thinking Dolan Springs might be. Let's just take a look here. Uh, shops, there's a hardware store and a farmer's market, and uh, the region is worth 12 million almost 13 it has fish and it has uh wood yes okay so dolan springs might be okay uh this one hmm this one has iron ore and coal but it's a small region. Port Charlotte has farmer's market. Um, yeah. What does Shoreline have? Uh-huh. Well, I'm thinking... Cleveland has oil, right? Yes. And gas and copper. Um, yeah. You know, I think perhaps... Yeah, 
I'm going to go for Dolan Springs. Okay. Uh, that might be making life harder for me than it needs to be. But uh, we have a farmer's market. So we should be able to make some, uh, some cash here. So we'll drop a headquarters in. Bam. Okay. So that's got us Dolan Springs, right? Now let's name our map here. Our, our uh, company is called Almost Incorporated. Right? So, uh, you know, we're going to leave that. Now, we can change our map from your map name goes here to, I don't know. Um, um, okay, that'll do. Uh, right, okay. Now, what, are we, what do we need to do here? We need to get some sort of an industry operational. Yeah, uh, that, that's what we definitely need to do. Now, what would that industry be? Well, first of all, I can't remember what. We have fish. Yeah, over there. That's too far. Right, that's an error I made in a in uh, my first game is I had stuff too far from the town, uh, and sh and uh, transport costs killed me. Um, right. Okay. Well, what have we got here? We've got a hardware store which is demanding coal, the uh, some amount of wood. Wool, rubber. Okay, so we can do a fair bit of stuff here, right? And a farmer's market. What are we demanding at the farmer's market? Okay, so we're demanding cocoa, potatoes, hops, sugar, veggies, milk, chicken, and beef. Okay, so... We can grow hops. Uh, sugar we can uh, we can grow. Um, I think we might want to start with cocoa. Okay, we got that. So now we get three free techs right off the start, right? So I. Uh, from the first two rows. So, uh, since we're going to start with cocoa, we need to unlock cocoa. What's that? That's flour. Okay. Um, and what was it? Hops, was it? No, go back. Look in here. What are the... Uh, cocoa's 13k. Sugar is 11k. With 7 per 15 days. Yeah, okay. We're going to go for sugar. Uh, where do we find sugar? That's a good question. It's uh, here. Yeah. We'll do sugar. Yep. Okay. Now what? Um, is it here? No. Hmm. Logistics. Do we we have an air purifier that we can get? We don't need that. Uh, we're gonna grab urban roads as well. Now. Um. Efficiency. Do we need that? No. Probably not. No. We're not gonna be doing rail. Um. We're going to research uh, increased destination slots. Right. Okay. Now, uh, that's so that I can avoid using warehouses initially. Now, what I what I need to do, uh, I want to check in here. Do we have water wells? Yes, we do. Um, yeah, we do. Good, because we're going to need that for agriculture, right? Okay, so uh, what I need to do here, um, yeah, we'll, we'll come at it from this angle. 
Right. So I need to set up a uh, farm of some kind. And this is going to be a plantation, right? Yes, it's going to be a plantation. Um, right, and we'll put it No, we're going to stick a road first. Uh, we're going to make a road square here. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm going to place the plantation here. Bam. Right? And we're going to place our three uh, fields that we get here. And we're set for cocoa. Okay, so this needs one water to produce two cocoa per field. Okay, so we're going to need water. Now I could use water siphon to grab it from here. What I'm going to do is use a water well instead. And that's over here. And I can grab the water from right here. Um, I'm going to put three gatherers there as well, oh, or harvesters, I guess. Okay, now we go over here, and we're going to send our, no, we're going to send the water to the plantation, right? Then we're going to go in here, and we're going to go in destinations, we're going to send it to the farmer's market, right? Now, we can also do the same thing with uh, sugar. And we might as well do that because we can afford it. Now, I'm going to make a sort of road grid here, right? Uh, so, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, road. Okay. Now, farms, plantation, and this is going to be for sugar okay okay now we set that for sugar cane right good now our destination here is also going to be the farmers market of course and we close this then we go over here and we add a destination to the sugar plantation Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's actually name this, uh, and this is going to be uh, Coco Inc. number one, and this is going to be Sweets Inc. number one. Okay, so I can figure out what these things are supposed to be, right? Right, okay. Now, that should, in theory, be enough to get us some stuff going here. Um, did we research hops? Um, I might, uh, okay, orchard, no, crops. Did I research hops? Uh, produce, no, okay. Right. Okay. No, we're fine. We're fine. Good. Okay. We're fine. Yeah, you keep saying that. Are we fine? Maybe. Well, why don't you start the clock running? Um, right. Now, uh, here, we're Coco, say we need seven per 15 days. And here, we're producing six in uh, six in 30 days. So I think we can, we can go with a second farm or, or plantation for each of these. 
We'll do that for the sugar at least. Yeah, because the sugar is also... No, we should do it for the cocoa. Nah, we'll do it for the sugar. But the sugar pays less. Yeah, well, um, that's fine. Okay, so we put this here, this here, this here, right? And this is going to be sugar cane. And we send it to here, right? And we come over here and we destinations, right? We send it here, right? Good. And this is sweets, ink, number two. Okay. Good. Right. Well, let's, uh, why don't we just up tempo here and get some stuff going? Look at that. We have crops growing. Might need another water well. Um, might. Right. So for each water delivered, we end up with uh, a uh, field growing. And we are now uh, bringing in some sort of cash. And that's good. We have more destination slots now, which means we can run more of these uh, operations here. Now, we're going to be in a slight money losing uh, uh, situation initially here. And that's just because the agricultural stuff is relatively uh, low margin. But we're in a spot where if we turn off research, we can definitely uh, earn a profit. So by having these things here real close to the, the town, uh, we uh, avoid... Uh, some level of uh, transport costs, right? And by not using a warehouse, like uh, is strongly suggested in the um, uh, tutorial thing, uh, we uh, actually end up with uh, some benefit here, right? Now, uh, I want to go in here, and we have... Um, What is it? Is it under logistics? No. Um, field. Irrigation tower. I think we want to get the irrigation tower since it's pretty clear we're, we're running into uh, uh, agriculture. And the irrigation tower will reduce traffic on the roads and make the farms a lot more efficient. I think, perhaps... Uh, we might need, yeah, we might need another water source as well. Uh, and that's going to, of course, uh, having an irrigation tower will make distribution of that a lot easier. Right. Okay. So, uh, looks like we're uh, mostly uh, breaking even, which is kind of surprising, actually. Uh yeah, it is kind of surprising. Almost breaking even, yeah. Uh, okay, now, uh, well, well, I'm going to, uh, while we're waiting for stuff to not happen, so here we've got our company information here, and there's 10 bundles of shares for each company, right? Now, Anybody can buy a bundle of shares in any company. Uh, you start out owning all the shares in your company. But see, if we go down here, we could buy, uh, we could buy out this entire company 
which is only worth, uh, you know, pretty close to this entire company because it's only worth six million, right? Uh, and uh, this one here is doing better. But you can buy these, and then when the company gets more uh, valuable, you can sell it again, uh, right? Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to leave that, you know, for a bit. But uh, you need to be careful, too, because if somebody's buying your shares, they can buy you right out of the game, right? Uh, so you need to make sure that you can buy back your shares if uh, too many are being sold, right? Oh, look, we're up to 7.8 million here. Nice. Uh, right, okay. Now, if we take a look in here, uh, we see that sugar is partially supplied. Uh, everything's partially supplied, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I think water might be the limiting factor here. It might be. Oh, we've uh, we finished the. Uh, you know what? Do we want to go for that one? No. Uh, what we want to do? Uh, we want to research hops, right? Because that's something we can sell. Uh, veggies, I think we'll research that as well because it's also something we can sell at the farmer's market. Yep. And uh, potatoes. So we'll... Uh, price of wood, that's not of any interest to us. Uh, potatoes we'll go for as well. Yes. Okay. So hops is uh, being researched. Uh, we'll definitely grow that. We're going to... Oh, there's something else. Um, logistics, is it? No, it's uh, efficiency, right? No. No, it's uh, fields and harvesters, right. Uh, so... Uh, so if we do this one, then we'd be able to put five harvesters for the water. And if we do if we do these, we get more fields for our farms. And you know, we'll go for the livestock one too. Uh and we'll we'll yeah, so we'll we'll stack all of that up. Okay. Now we're going to I'm going to want to uh, add in here a... Now, am I going to leave space for the extra fields here? Or am I going to just go with, uh, with three fields on each? No, I think it would be better to put the space for the extra fields there. Yeah, probably. Okay, so that has, we've researched hops, we've got the irrigation tower, okay. Uh, right, so the irrigation tower is a, uh, let's uh, drop the speed back down. The irrigation tower, which we find under uh, farms, so it has a radius, right, where it, uh, where it distributes water to your fields, right? Uh, so if I were to put this here, it would cover all the all the farms we've got up so far, and possibly some farms over here. But if I were to put it over here, it covers a fair bit more, right? Uh, and a fair bit more space uh, where I'm going to develop my farms. So I'm going to put no, I'm going to put it here. Right, okay. Now, why am I doing this? Well, it's going to make dis distribution of water loads easier. Because then we can just go, you can go here, and these can, can just uh, go away, right? 
Uh, and then now we're sending um, we're sending all six units of water straight to the irrigation tower, right? Uh, and we definitely need another uh, well um, that's under gatherers um, water well. Yeah, we'll put another one there. Uh, with its gatherers. Okay, now we go over here, and we choose a destination, and we send it to the irrigation tower. Okay. That should get the water supply up to the point where all these fields are running all the time. Now we should have 12 units of water popping up every uh, every whoop every uh, 15 days. And that's going to give us. But it, see now you can see here the uh, fields are growing in a lot faster, right? So. Uh, that's kind of what I was going for there. Now, uh, we can also, we, we have now researched uh, a couple of things here. So we we can do hops now. And I'm going to uh, stick the farm here. And you can go there. You can go there. You cannot go there. Oh. Well, we've got this nifty terraforming thing where we can just do this. Uh, like this. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, it costs a bit of cash, but not ridiculously so. And then we can go in here and we're doing potatoes. Potatoes is fine, actually. Uh, okay. So we'll go back over here and we'll add the last field and we'll go over here and we will send it to the farmer's market, right? Okay, so that's another thing that's going to get us. Okay, we're not growing beef, so that contract's not of interest to us. But you see, now we've got this uh, farming operation starting up over here and... Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to, of course, uh, get more stuff operating. As you can see, we've got this nice agricultural area right by the town here. And it looks like we're coming out with a uh, basically positive cash flow now. Uh, what does this have to say? Gainy, yes. Right. Okay, so so there's that. Yep, see, we've got our, our fields are operating. Um, right, okay. Cost of all buildings, re no. That costs money to do, right? So I'm not going to do that. Anyway, um, so you can see here, 114k. Uh, so that's uh, going to be enough to have a net positive cash flow, even with research operating at 100k a month. So let's uh, let's just uh, up the tempo a bit here. Somebody else won the uh, the auction there. Right. Okay. So as you can see, if you can get enough uh, agricultural uh, products going, uh, you can definitely uh, get a profit going, uh, especially if you're not too far from the um, uh, relevant location, right? So, uh, what am I going to do here? Uh, I want to get hops as well. 
Uh, we don't have uh, dairy, so that's not relevant to us either. Now, something that might not be obvious from the, uh, the game, where you have to buy regions to build in them, is you can deliver to a town in a different region, even if you don't have the building contract for it. Uh, if you don't have the the building rights, you can uh, you can still sell in that town. So that's uh, that's something to be aware of. At least uh, that's uh, that's how I recall it when I was uh, looking at things. Uh, right. Okay. So now our sugar is partially supplied still. Our cocoa is partially supplied still. Potatoes are fully demanded. Well, uh, is that because I haven't actually... No, I am sending them there. Okay. Uh, potatoes, partially supplied. Okay. Right. Uh, when we get the additional plantation fields uh, and uh, crop fields, what's this? That's dairy again. Uh, we can definitely add more uh, more stuff in the uh, into the demand equation, right? Uh, or the supply equation. But uh, hops, yeah, uh, looks like. Uh, one field of hops is probably enough. Couple fields of veggies. Yeah. Okay. No, we don't have uh, beef. We have the extra plantation fields now. Um, right. Okay, what I'm going to do is extend this this uh, road. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's where we where I want it. Now, how far does the irrigation towers? Oh, it goes goes plenty far. Okay, uh, so we're going to grow. Where we're doing autosave. We're going to make uh, a hops farm uh, here. No, nope. I put the road in the wrong place. Demolish. Uh, I went too, too far there. Uh, right, I want it here. Uh, right. Yeah, okay. Why are you making a grid like that? It's because it's easier to fit things in. Okay, so we get this, we get this, this, and this, and then we're doing hops. Yes. And we go over here and we choose a destination to here. Good. Yes. So uh, there we go. Uh, so that's another uh, product that we have uh, going there. And we'll have... Uh, I think we can put up a vegetable farm too. So, uh, so we can do that here. Okay, and this is going to be vegetables, and this is going to go to the farmer's market. Yep, okay. Eh, nah, we won't do that. Uh, okay, so now that, I think, gets us to the point where we've got a lot of stuff being supplied. Now... Ultimately, I'm going to probably expand all of these to five fields. Uh, ultimately, I think. I haven't decided yet. Uh, anyway, 
the farmer's market now shows partially supplied, partially supplied, there, there. Uh, that's fully demanded because we haven't had time for them to grow yet. Yeah. So there we go. That's uh, that's basically getting started here. And this this gets us, yeah, this gets us basically uh, an initially uh, profitable uh, uh, agricultural operation. And the advantage of this is it doesn't create any pollution, right? Uh, and that uh, that actually is uh, is quite uh, quite useful. Now, what else do we have in? We have also a hardware store. What does the hardware store demand? Uh, wool, which we can. What? Oh, you need wheat and water to make livestock to get wool. Okay. Uh, we got uh, coal, which we don't have in the region. We don't have um, cotton, however, uh, we can grow in our agricultural operation. And rubber can be grown in the agricultural operation. Right. So yeah, so we're we're at a point here where we can we can uh, you know grow quite a bit of stuff. What I'm going to do uh, just before we we go, I'm going to flatten this terrain out here. No, two, three, uh, out here. Terraform one, two, three. Yep. Okay. Now, by doing that, oh, come on, where's the mouse pointer? There it is. Uh, what we can do is go over here and we can add fields uh, here. Oh, I need one more. Okay. Uh, acquire permit for Cleveland. Uh, we can't afford that. Okay. Uh, we could take a loan to do that, but we're not going to. Uh, we're going to, no, we were aiming for here. Uh, flatten. Somebody else got that, obviously. Okay, so we've done that. Now, we're going to add the field here and here, right? And we're going to do that here, too. Uh, here and here, right? So this will increase our production with uh, uh, less cost than a completely new uh, farm, right? Now here we go in here, we add a field in here, yep, and here we add a field right and then we can go in here and add a field see so, yeah, that starts to look like a proper agricultural operation doesn't it with uh, with uh, fields now you can actually intersperse these things if you uh, want to Deliver 13 beef to Cleveland. Nope. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, we're down to 3.6 million. So we're going to need to uh, let our cash build up now. Um, right. Uh, so that's uh, definitely going to be important to do. So we don't run out of cash, right? Um, actually, something we can do here also is uh, uh, add a couple more water harvesters. Add harvester here, here. OK. 
Okay. I think that's enough to sort out the uh, supply issue. Um, yeah, probably. I think maybe. Um, yeah, so we added 33% uh, or yeah, two, we added two thirds more capacity there, two thirds more capacity on water. Yeah, that should be enough to keep things ticking. Acquire permit, which we also can't afford. Okay. Right. Well, let's uh, tick this along faster here. Uh, obviously, somebody else took the permit there. Uh, yeah. I really wish these uh, auctions, you could uh, just ignore it, and it would return the game speed to where you were at without having to click the speed up. Now, it does go back after the auctions expire, but it's still uh, quite uh, uh, annoying, right? I know why they're doing that. It's, uh, it's clearly uh, intentional, uh, so that you don't miss these things, right? Uh, and again, we can't afford that. Land auction. Right. Okay. Um, right. Well, we've got a fair bit of, uh, of progress going here. Uh, so as you can see, it's not that difficult to get a somewhat profitable operation going what we uh what we can do of course is uh, uh turn off uh, research and the money will go up faster uh by 100k a month right uh but what we can we can also do is uh, uh come along here and uh start supplying the uh hardware store right uh, which is somewhere. Uh, where is it? Um, where is it? There it is. Uh, we start supplying the hardware store. And uh, then we end up with a fair chunk more uh, income. But as you can see, uh, we've, uh, we've started picking up a fair bit of... Uh, of cash uh, monthly, right? Right, okay. Again, we aren't growing the stuff to do that. So, this, uh, <clears throat> this gives us a nice uh, <clears throat> agricultural operation and we can extend this uh, add a cotton plantation and all of that and be able to uh, supply stuff to the hardware store and that's just another batch of uh, of um, of income so it's uh, there's not much like the agriculture the base agricultural stuff is pretty straightforward right uh, more complicated production chains are well, more complicated, you know, that's, uh, that's really what it comes down to. And maybe I'll take a swipe at that in another episode. I'm not sure if I'm going to do more of this one. Uh, but I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at it. I needed something to fill in a week or so. Uh, so if I, if I can't get uh, the other game that I want to get working for next Tuesday uh, operational, uh, I'll, I'll be back with another episode of Rise of Industry. But otherwise, uh, I'll probably uh, relegate this to an occasional one. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, drop it in uh, once in a while, mixed in with the other stuff. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, do you want to see me try and take this, uh, this further? 
Uh, what do you want to see me try and do with this, right? Uh, you know, it's it's just uh, one of those things, right? Uh, what do you want to? What do you want me want to see me try, right? Um, anyway, uh, that's uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be it for uh, for this uh, particular episode. So I may be back next week in another episode of this. I may not. I may be back with the other game. Uh, which uh, the other game would be NIMBY Rails. So uh, I'm not uh, I'm not sure which way I'm going to go on that uh, yet. Uh, if uh, if NIMBY Rails works out, and I'll probably give a shot with that one. Maybe I'll alternate that one and this one. Uh, whatever. Uh, I've definitely got a uh, uh, got another um, uh, operation to try out. Uh, so anyway, uh, I guess that's going to be all for this time. Uh, I'll probably, if I come back to this, wind it forward a bit uh, for uh, for cash. Anyway, uh, that's all for this time. I guess, uh, you know, uh, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. I mean, there is a light at the end of the tunnel now. And see you back uh, next time for something. <laughs>